What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode this is episode number 146 and we start today's episode off by seeing that a few players have accepted their contracts um, obviously in the first episode with PSG in episode number 144 we saw that quite a few players had their contracts expiring at the end of the year so everyone accepted their contracts other than Johan could buy David Luiz was still stalling his but he did indeed accept it in the end uh, this actually happened in the last episode before the Barcelona game but I actually forgot to show you this footage so apologies for that but this happened during uh, just before the Barcelona game sorry I think or maybe just after I can't remember now but uh, regardless as you can see uh, PSG the board came to us and basically just said you are doing a fantastic job three games in already they must be absolutely shocked we managed to get them through to the knockout stage of the Champions League so they thought they better already send us an email and say you know really pleased to have you as manager and also Kabai accepted his contract at the second time of asking as well so all of those players we put in contract offers for in episode one. 4-4 have now accepted their deals which is great uh, that's really really good because even though some of them as I've already mentioned before I am looking to eventually shift on and try and get a younger squad here at PSG it's still good to know we won't be losing them for free in the January transfer window as I never like to see players leave on free transfers so there you go uh, there are two players also as well to have their contracts expire and I can't remember who they are it's a central midfielder and a striker as well but neither of them are very good so I'm okay with them going and that doesn't really bother me we take on St Etienne though for the first game of today's episode here and as you can see by my lineup I made 11 changes to the side to beat Evian on the weekend as this was being played on Wednesday night and the reason being is quite simple this is the Coupe de Ligue or French Cup I'm not really sure how you pronounce the Coupe de Ligue there I think that's right but uh, still the French Cup regardless that's what I'll refer to it as and to be honest I'm not really fussed about it it's not in our objectives the board have basically only given us a league objectives this season haven't bothered with a European one because they probably thought we were going out anyway haven't given us a cup one either so I'm not really bothered and uh, my main focus will be on the league this year but regardless we did actually take the lead in this game despite playing a bit of a backup side it's uh, Keita the Spanish winger getting the goal there and making it PSG 1 St Etienne nil. so this is a really good chance for those young players who as I mentioned I do want to bleed into the first team to show us that they are good enough to play in this Paris Saint-Germain first team and it is Keita who gets the goal there and makes it PSG 1 at St Etienne nil. possibly a target for my uh, Racing Santander club and country series who knows but he does make it 1-0 there and it's uh, an early lead for Paris Saint-Germain but Areola has to make a very good save during the 25th minute the young goalkeeper stopping the shot and turning it away and the header was cleared too so still PSG wants an Etienne nil but to be honest an Etienne side was pretty decent as I looked at it before the game and that's why I wasn't really surprised in the 44th minute and Doi would equalize for them after a nice little passing build up there I brought out Areola tried to put him off on the edge of the area but that is a fantastic finish talk about composure there seriously away at uh, PSG at the Parc des Princes you got one on one goalkeeper charging you down three bodies around you and you chip the ball over the goalkeeper and it nestles in the bottom corner how about that for cool as you like there so PSG wants an Etienne one but nine minutes after the restart here Levetti goes down the left hand side and takes on his man beats him with a body faint cuts inside and shoots but the goalkeeper parries it and gets the ball away so still the away side on level terms here but in the 57th minute again we're on the ball cater the goal scorer finding Mota inside to Johan Kabay lovely pass to Levetti and again the goalkeeper making a very good stop and St Etienne are getting the ball away so good save there and it was still 1-1 from the corner Kabai crosses the ball in looking for Bamberg a giant 6 foot 7 centre back in our club he's only 67 rated though but regardless he goes for the header and unfortunately for us it goes over the bar but uh, 66 minutes on the clock unfortunately for us St Etienne would actually go ahead and take the lead in this game and Areola is a very decent young goalkeeper he's got a lot of potential has the uh, potential to be very 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 good in the future but that is a moment he won't want to see again the corner comes in it basically goes through his hands as he goes for a simple catch uh, goes all the way to Cornet at the far post and his simple volley goes into the back of the net and it's PSG 1 St Etienne 2 so 2-1 to the away side and we are facing elimination here and our first game in the French Cup and in the 90th minute I threw our centre back forward trying to get ourselves a goal in the end though it just wasn't forthcoming I did have a couple of chances from late on here uh, he was the best one here, Keita uh, to, uh, to uh, his man, back to Keita fake shots around Jefferson down the right hand side crosses the ball in, does pick out the big centre back playing centre forward but unfortunately for us the header goes wide and it was actually the final touch of the game so final score PSG once and Etienne to the away side pull off a bit of a shock but in the 
the end, even though it's our first loss as PSG manager, even though I'm very, very disappointed to know that we aren't going to go any further in the round of 16 stage in Coupe de Ligue, it's still not something I'm that fussed about because, yeah, sure, it's it's sad to lose for the first time, especially at home, but at the end of the day, you know, even though we were in a, a winning position as well, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's not in our objectives, so the board won't complain regardless. You know, we could have lost that game 10-0 and the board would not be fussed about it. So, well, maybe they'll be a little bit embarrassed about it, but regardless, it wouldn't be too fussed about it in our objectives for the season. So, yeah, it, it happens and, you know, we rested our entire team. The league is the main priority, so coming to this game here away at Stade Rene, we would have our first 11 back out there. I wasn't really too fussed about it anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. But regardless... We uh, do take on Star Rene for the second and final game of today's episode here, back in Ligue 1. And of course, after uh, you know winning the first two Ligue 1 games, I was hoping to make it three wins out of three as well, and hopefully four out of five in total in all competitions with PSG as well. As you can see, reverting back to my first 11, fully fit. Higuain and Zlatan, I'm still not sure who I want to play up front from the beginning, because Higuain is four ratings higher, and he is a really clinical finisher. I've used him before, he's really, really good. But Zlatan, 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 you know, so I, I don't know who I'm going to play for the majority of the, uh, the season but we'll have to wait and see but still we do take on Star Rene and the first chance would fall to us in the third minute and it was Higuain going forward but the goalkeeper making a very good save there and Diallo making a good stop and keeping it at scoreness but uh, still in the 13th minute here as Coulomb's on the board he picks out Gonzalo Higuain looking to create something he does pick out Lacazette down the right hand side and again the goalkeeper makes a very good save and a follow up shot is tipped onto the post by the goalkeeper and turned behind for a corner so still goalless from the corner has our crossed the ball in and finally the deadlock is broken. I say finally, it's only 15 minutes in but we'd already had a couple of great chances and had hit the post but David Luiz gets the goal and makes it Stad Rene 0 Paris Saint-Germain 1. So I've never been a huge fan of David Luiz in real life. You know, on the game though I do know he's hugely overpowered so I may not be a huge fan of his in real life but you know, you've got to use him in the game if you do want to have an OP centre-back. So Luiz does make it 1-0 to Paris Saint-Germain and we are in front of this game and deservedly so. Higuain then went close in a 40th minute, his header going just over the bar and behind for a goal kick. And a couple minutes later here, Handanovic is on the ball for us and plays it out wide towards our left back, Lucas Digne. Through towards Eden Hazard, he pa uh, passed the ball to Remy Cabea. Back down the left hand side to the Belgian who takes on Danza, beats him for pace, keeps on going. Really good chance here, cuts inside and almost curls the ball into the far corner. But unfortunately for us, it shaves the far post and goes behind for a goal kick. So still, Stad Rene 0, PSG 1. But to be honest, it was all Paris Saint-Germain. The home side didn't really do anything. And I've said already a couple of times, I'm playing some great football with this team, passing the ball around really nicely. I've said already, I feel as though we can score a couple of fantastic goals this season. And that's another one there. That's unlike the goals we've scored so far in terms of the really special goals. The Digne, uh, you know, goal from miles out and the Remy Cabea bicycle kick. That is a really nice passing goal. Fantastic team effort. So many players involved. A couple of really nice passing build-ups there. And as the ball came inside, Gonzalo Higuain was not going to miss. So the Argentine makes it Stad Rene 0, Paris Saint Germain 2, and the points are surely sealed now. But in the 57th minute here, Stad Rene would have their first chance of the game. Enrique crossing the ball in, and the header was brilliantly saved by Handanovic and cleared away. So good stop by our goalkeeper. And in the 79th minute here, Stad Rene gives the ball away. Levetti wins it back, drills in across, picks out Lacazette in the centre. Love those drill crosses in this game. They're so overpowered. Picks out Lacazette in the centre, and he ends up sliding the ball in and making it Stad. Rene nil, Paris Saint-Germain free. So Lacazette getting his second goal in two league games. Very, very nice finish there as he dives in and makes it 3-0 to the away side. And in the 82nd minute here, how about this? Stad Rene get the ball away. Lacazette Berber spins around his man. What a chance here as he slides it through towards Latan off the bench. He takes it around the last man Danze with a scoop turn. Then a Berber spin. Then a nice finish into the far corner. And the referee gives a free kick to Stad Rene. And I was like... What for? Why have you given a free kick there? Because I genuinely could not understand what the free kick was given for. Ibra went forward, scored a perfectly clear goal in my opinion, but the referee chalked it off for a free kick. But, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> Slatan may have been disallowed that goal, but the referee certainly can't, fall, uh, can't find fault with that goal. 
Simple ball inside, and the Swedish striker tucks it in. The goalkeeper does get a hand on it, but he's not able to save it. It goes into the bottom corner, and it's Stadler and 8 0 PSG 4. So I, I don't know why that goal was disallowed. If you can tell me, please let me know in the comments, because I've got no idea why. The only thing I can think of is maybe Ibra used his strength a little bit to beat the last man, and the referee saw it as an unfair challenge, but to me, it seemed perfectly fine. But regardless, he did score there and make amends after coming off the bench. 4 0 the final score. A very, very good win. And like I said, priorities wasn't a ball about the cup but a good win in the league and as you'll see 19 games in we have made a very good start with three wins out of three in the league but as always guys a big thanks for watching the video really hope you have enjoyed it if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and i'll see you for the next episode very soon